Well, hello and welcome to I Love Gay Today. And we are in Palm Springs and we are here with Jessica Clark. How are you, Jessica? I am so great. Thank you so much for having me, Matt. It's great to meet you here. And uh, for those that don't know, you're the host of a new, um, I don't know if I just would call it a web series. Let's just call it a streaming series called Coming Out for Love. Yes, it's definitely a streaming series versus a web series. Um, it mm. is, uh, it's the first uh, queer women U.S. Uh, dating competition show. Uh, so we're yeah. very excited about that. And then the future plans are in subsequent seasons to expand it. So we embrace and enjoy and follow along on the road to romance for all of our LGBTQ plus community. So wow. we're, we're really excited. Yeah. Well, I loved, I loved, I, I checked it, uh, especially the trailer because I went through a lot of the the website and, and so forth, but the trailer itself, it was a good, 50, uh, like about five minutes and you were featured on there and you're, you're uh, all throughout Palm Springs. So you guys are filming this uh, at the Palm Palace, I believe, correct? Yes, this gorgeous giant mansion. So with uh, sculptures and this huge pool and gorgeous lighting. And yeah, it was it was a really hard job to spend that much time with all of these beautiful, amazing women in the beautiful Palm Springs. It was terrible, terrible. <laughs> and they're all under one roof, correct? <laughs> they're all under one roof. And our inaugural lead, Amber, she is also under the same roof. So it really gives uh, all of the women opportunity to, you know, develop... Uh, relationships friendships you know the possibility of love romantic love and then the the reality is as well that they're all women who love women and so in 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 a and so it diverges from sort of more mainstream sort of het cis shows like the bachelor where you know everyone's competing for time and for potential love with the lead in coming up for love there's also the possibility that they fall in love with each other you know because that is that is a big part of our community as well right it's exactly uh, yeah friends turn into lovers lovers turn into friends and all the other all the other combinations i love that and so yes and so they're all competing for uh uh uh, to win over amber whittington correct or uh, as some some of us know online through social amber's closet right that's right yeah she's fabulous fabulous she really um she's such a she's such an eloquent evolved conscious person you know very i mean if you know her as amber's closet you know that she's very much an activist she very much has made it a part of her personal goal and her personal brand to to uh welcome um, welcome people that are new to the LGBT community that are unsure of how to present themselves, you know, what's expected of them, like all of those things. Like she's really over the years sort of touched so many people in that way. And so to to have her come and be the lead and have all of these fabulous queer women sort of, she goes deep, you know what I mean? She's not a superficial person. And so we really get these incredible deep uh, emotional conversations between her and the contestants yeah. so it's uh it's it's a ride it's a ride there's there's romantic love there's friendship there's toxicity there's conflict um and not any kind of conflict that we had to manufacture by the way like yeah. we very much went into it wanting it to be you know uh as organic as possible and the first the first few days i was sort of a little concerned that we wouldn't have any conflict because yeah. Uh, and everyone was getting on so well and then it transpired that there was personal history between between some of the women and yeah. it all kicked off from there basically wow well what's really interesting though is that we were saying at the beginning it's it's a streaming it's it's available um through sites such as um lesflix.com and i also noticed uh it's uh, called one more lesbian tv but it's really interesting because that whole world is kind of evolving and changing as far as these uh these niche uh uh almost like ch channels apps on on roku and so forth but they're really really focusing on uh lgbt content and this is this is uh, nicole khan is really striving to become one of the big ones there yeah absolutely i mean nicole khan is the creator and director of coming out below but she's been a feature film uh, maker and a documentary maker for for many many years she was one of the trailblazers in uh lesbian film and lesbian romance on the screen and yeah. so it it's kind of been really fabulous to see her take on this project you know she's wanted to make coming out for love for 15 years okay. um and of course that the whole process of coming out has changed and evolved somewhat since then as well so you yeah. see sort of different representations of that we have people that have genuinely sort of never come out to to their nearest and dearest we have uh one of our contestants is from is Ukrainian and her parents and family still live over there. It's a very conservative culture. 
Um, so yeah, so we have, I think with streaming services, what it, what it does is it, it allows for more, it allows for more risk, honestly, you know what I mean? Because with the mainstream media and with the networks and things like that, you know, everyone's beholden to somebody else, the advertisers and this and the studios and, and we completely understand that, but it also makes it a little bit more of a challenge for them to take on a project like coming out for love, at least initially. There was a lot of excitement, um, but ultimately we decided that, Nicole decided primarily that it was most important for the story to be told organically and, you know, under under her care, you know, like for us, by us, as she likes to say, which I which I absolutely love. So, yeah, I mean, I think that I think that sort of the online streaming and the social media world and things like that, it's really opened up so much for sort of more, I don't like to say niche, but, you know, the, not the typical mainstream communities to kind of build their visibility, but build their visibility through their own communities. So it's not just uh, watching queer women through the gaze of straight men you know what i mean like we we welcome them we want everybody to watch straight gay bi purple green like everybody we really truly believe that 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 you're going to be on the rise uh and get caught up in these women and their journeys and and their their processes into sort of delving deeper into love um but it's not made through their gaze, you know what I mean? Like we made a real effort to represent true diversity. So that means body diversity, ethnicity diversity. Uh, we have a fabulous deaf contestant. We have people from small towns, large towns, you know, like lots of people that wouldn't necessarily um, find themselves on a more uh, traditional reality show, dating reality show, I should say. That's, that's amazing. And uh, but you've been uh, you've been doing this for quite a while, and in fact, uh, I saved the best for last. But we all, uh, many of us, may know you or recognize you because you've been uh, you've been on True Blood as well. One of uh, and I'm I'm a big fan of that show. I have. I'm a huge fan of that show. I was a huge fan before I was even cast, and so it was tremendously exciting for me. And my first day on set, I will never forget it because you know, <laughs> I, I, outside on the external, I'm trying to be like cool, calm, and professional, and on the yeah. inside, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Yes, yes, I played the 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 mother of all vampires, Lilith. Yes. So, yeah, that's got to be still got to be a highlight of my career. <laughs> yeah, I was with Alan Ball as well. You know, it was just such a, a it was just he's such a genius at you know tell and because True Blood, as I know you know, like it's about marginalized communities. You know, yeah, it's about yeah. the prejudice and and the the bigotry that that communities aren't in the mainstream face. And yes, it's told through a super supernatural lens, mm -hmm. um, but that that just gives you an opportunity to that gives the opportunity for the public to to grasp sort of what true visibility and true acceptance and all of that is through the stories of these vampires and werewolves and fairies and all of this fabulous <laughs> stuff so i just thought it was a genius genius concept and it was an honor to be a part of it yeah no, that's amazing and so i i know that I, from what i saw in the trailer you're bringing a lot of a lot of that talent to the forefront here in this new series and you're showcasing palm springs at the same time they're gonna love that I should hope so. I mean, and Palm Springs, I mean, it's kind of the the, the mecca of LGBTQ plus yeah. culture, right? And it's yeah. so beautiful. And I don't know, I just love like as you drive in and, and all the, the turbo, the wind turbos. And it's just such a vibe. It's such an energy in the mountains and the desert. And it's so beautiful and the sunsets. And it's really, really a special place. So we were very fortunate to be able to to be located there it was really really fun seeing the women amber go on different dates with the women kind of around and about and yeah. get to know a little bit of what palm springs has to offer and yeah not not that palm springs needs it but we hope we bring even more visibility <laughs> and people to the area because it deserves it i hear you i love that well we're going to make sure i'm going to i'm going to link to all of not only the social media and this trailer and so forth but i'm going to link all that from uh, where we post these videos and um but mostly I'm just really glad that you're able to take a few moments of your time here out of your day and kind of share a bit of the story of this new series with our audience. Oh, it's my pleasure. And I hope I hope that people watch. We are actually having our live stream launch tomorrow. Okay. Um, so myself and a bunch of the cast and sort of our guest judges and things like that, we're all going to be together for a watch party. Wow. Um, and you can find that on comingoutforlove.com. It's going to be live on YouTube. 
and then that'll that'll be the first two episodes will be shown yeah. and then on saturday those two episodes will be repeated for people because obviously tomorrow is a work day and business and all of that it'll be repeated and then there'll be one episode per week we're not doing we're not doing a binge show we really want yeah. people to kind of be on the same page and and go through it sort of with each other you know we don't want some people knowing what happened and some people not so um so yeah so coming out for love.com and lesflix and you'll be able to access all of that and i really hope people give it give it a chance because it, it has all of the amazing parts of you know it's like sexy and romantic and fun and all of that but we also get into some deeper conversations about the the, the different things in our community that aren't really addressed you know because mm -hmm. we're always having to put on this sort of perfect um what is it the ideal token i don't know i can't remember what it is nope. but anyway fantastic and i hope everyone gives this gives us a chance and i appreciate matt you having me on and uh, helping us promote this awesome new show well thank you and uh, it's wonderful to meet you here thank you, thank you. So good. So good.